Hey folks, it's instrument time. I have something new. In fact, it's so new I haven't even taken the plastic off of it yet. A musician's friend just shipped this the other day, and it's something I've been wanting for a while. This is the Ibanez Micro Bass. It's a baby bass. Still got the tags on it, still got the plastic on it. So I bought this because I wanted a small studio bass. It's also a great little travel bass. Uh, Folks who are bass guitar snobs will, of course, highly dislike it because the main feature on this guitar is the scale length. And on this one, the scale length is 28.6 inches. And that's baritone guitar length, not bass guitar length. So normally your bass guitar will have a scale length of 34 inches. Uh, short scale bass might be 30 to 32. This is, they call this a short scale bass. I'm going to call it a super short scale bass. So, comes in eight different colors. I grabbed the Sunburst because Sunburst is cool and it didn't cost any more. So, so that's the tag on it. So, uh, body is um, either Poplar or Agathis. Um, it depends. Uh, Ibanez's website says popular, popular. Musician friend says Agathis. Uh, nice maple neck. It's actually quite pretty. I don't know if you can quite see the uh, detail of the wood on this camera. So it has three controls. Uh, one tone control at the bottom. Then the bridge pickup and then the neck pickup. So with just the neck pickup and just the bridge pickup. That sounds good. Let's, uh, let's mix in a little bit of both. So I'm getting a little bit of fret bras. I have not set this up yet. Uh, the action is probably a hair low for um, the super short scale. You can hear that kind of rattling fuzziness to the bass, uh, mostly on the heaviest string here. So if I, if I really pick it hard, you'll hear it go rattle. All right, so we don't like that. So we're gonna have to adjust the truss rod. It came with a truss rod tool, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, I wanted a little tiny bass for uh, the studio work. Uh, it sticks out almost a foot less than the full-size bass over there. And um, with my guitarist hands, uh, reaching the frets is way, way easier. So um, that's what we got. So I bet it's micro. Um, I'm going to pronounce it micro since they have put a capital K stylized as the middle letter. So indicating two different syllables rather than micro. Um, and of course, it's a Japanese company, so we want to try to come up with some sort of Japanese pronunciation. That's a problem when you read stuff and you never hear it, uh, actually, so. So, Ibanez Micro, uh, they are $199.95, basically $200 US. Uh, they do not come with a case. Uh, obviously, a base case wouldn't fit. Uh, you want essentially a guitar case. So, um, this is actually a hair smaller than a Stratocaster or something like that. But a standard guitar case will fit. So, uh, I like it. Obviously, I need to set it up 
and I will be using this for recording once I get it dialed in. So that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for tuning in again and like and subscribe if you do like this content and we will see you next time on Instrument Time. Hey folks, quick addendum. Check out this really, really cool truss rod cover. I have not seen this before. So the truss rod cover right here is hinged. That's nifty, I like that. So you don't have to use a screwdriver to remove it. You can just reach in with a uh, little tool and pull that to the side. I actually use a thumb pick. So that's neat. Uh, regular action truss rod, so counterclockwise to give it more release, relief, clockwise to uh, reduce relief. I just gave it about an eighth of a turn and it already sounds way better. So anyway, I wanted to uh, add a quick addendum because this thing is cool. I've never seen this before. So again, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Instrument Time.